hello students welcome to this video lecture in the last video lecture we know the actual definition of group and also examples on it and the definition of order of a group in this video lecture let us know the properties of a group here the first property is the identity element of a group is unique it means that every group has only one identity element now let us prove this property suppose e and e dash are two identity elements of g here before going to prove the identity element of a group is unique here we consider two identity elements that is suppose e and e dash are two identity elements of g we have e dot e dash is equal to e since e dash is identity here we consider both e and e dash are identity elements therefore e dash e dash e dot e dash is equal to e and also e dot e dash is equal to e dash here we consider here e is identity element but e dot e dash is a unique element of g since g is group here e dot e dash is unique element therefore from the above two equations we consider that is e dash is equal to e hence the identity element of a group is unique now the second property the inverse of an element in a group is unique similarly as identity element here inverse of an element in a group is unique for each and every element in a group there exists only one inverse element for each element antandre group yavude tagondru ella yavude element ge yenagirutte onde ondu inverse irutte anta now let a belongs to g and e b identity element of g suppose b and c are inverse of a in g now here we consider one element a which belongs to g and e b the identity element of the group now here we consider b and c are inverse of a in g we check whether the element a has only one inverse or two inverse elements now here we consider b and c are two inverse inverse elements of a in g we know b dot a which is equal to e which is equal to a dot b since e is identity element it means that if b is inverse of a then b dot a which is equal to e you know the product of the element and its inverse is always equal to identity element therefore b dot a is equal to e which is equal to a dot b since e is identity element and c dot a which is equal to e which is equal to a into c since e is identity element here we consider both b and c are inverse elements therefore b dot a is equal to e which is equal to a dot b c dot a is equal to e which is equal to a dot c we have b of a dot c which is equal to b into a since c dot a which is equal to which is equal to a into d we let us we consider here a dot c c is inverse element of a therefore b of a dot c which is equal to b e you know b is if b is the inverse element of the group then b dot e which is equal to b also b dot a into c there b dot a here b is inverse of a we consider therefore dot c e into c which is equal to c therefore b of a dot c which is equal to b r dot a dot c since g is group hence b is equal to c you know why g is group it means that it satisfies associative law therefore if we <coughs> we write b is equal to 
B is equal to C. The inverse of an element in a group is unique here. B consider B and C are two uh, inverse elements of A. But finally, we conclude that B is equal to C. It means that each and every element in a group has only one inver inverse element for each element. Next, the third property, the inverse of the inverse of an element of a group is the element itself. If we take inverse of an inverse of a element, we get the element. That is A inverse of whole inverse which is equal to A for all A belongs to G. Now, if... E is identity element of G, we have A inverse that A which is equal to U. Uh, e, you know, inverse of an element and its in the, uh, product of an element and its inverse is always equal to identity element E. Therefore, A inverse that A is equal to A which implies, we write, we take inverse, if we, multi, if we take inverse, we get A inverse of an inverse into A inverse that A which is equal to A inverse of inverse that E which implies we write A inverse of inverse A dot A inverse which is equal to min A inverse dot A which implies we get A inverse of inverse that A inverse into A which is equal to A inverse of inverse dot E since G is associative therefore we write e dot a is equal to a inverse of inverse dot a or since you know a inverse of inverse dot a inverse is e therefore we write a dot e which is equal to a inverse of inverse dot e which is implies a is equal to a inverse of whole inverse thus inverse of inverse of an element is element itself Next, fourth property, if A and B are any two elements of a group G, comma dot, here the binary operation is dot, it means multiplication, then AB inverse, which is equal to B inverse into A inverse. Here, this is known as reversal law of inverse. Suppose if we consider two elements of G, that is A and B, under multiplication, AB inverse is always equal to B inverse into A inverse. Now, let us prove this property. Suppose A and B are any elements of group G. A inverse and B inverse are inverse elements of A and B respectively. Then we write A inverse into A which is equal to A which is equal to A, A inverse and B inverse into B, which is equal to E, which is equal to B, B inverse. Now, <coughs> A, B into B inverse, that is, if we multiply A, B on both sides, here we get A, B into B inverse into A, which is equal to A, B, B inverse, into A inverse. By associative law, here we get A, B, B inverse into A inverse which is equal to A, E into A inverse which implies A, A inverse which is equal to G. Also, B inverse into A inverse into A, B which is equal to B inverse into A inverse into A, B which implies B inverse into A inverse into B which is equal to B inverse EB which is equal to B inverse into B which is equal to E. Thus we have B inverse into A inverse AB which is equal to E which is equal to AB into B inverse A inverse which that therefore finally we write AB inverse which is equal to B inverse into A inverse. Next property, left and right cancellation laws. If A and B, A, B and C are any three elements of group G, then A, B is equal to A, C, which implies B is equal to C. Left, this we call it as left cancellation law. 
similarly a b is equal to c b which implies a is equal to c which we call it as right cancellation law we now let us we prove this property let a belongs to g with which implies there exists a inverse belongs to g such that a into a inverse which is equal to e or which is equal to a inverse a into a we know for a in, uh, already we know the property or uh, inverse property that is for each and every element in a group there exists one unique inverse element so, likewise here if a belongs to g then there exists a inverse such that a dot a inverse is equal to e or a inverse dot a where e is the identity element of g now ab is equal to ac which implies a inverse into ab which is equal to a inverse into ac multiplying both side on left by a inverse now a inverse into a b which is equal to a inverse into a into c by associative law here we write you know a inverse into a is e e into b is e b e b is equal to e c by inverse law we write which implies b is equal to c by identity law hence the left cancellation law thus we prove that if a b is equal to a b is equal to a c we get b is equal to c next again consider an element b which belongs to g which implies there exist b inverse belongs to g such that b b inverse which is equal to e which is equal to b inverse into b where e is the identity element of g now a b is equal to c d which implies a b b inverse which is equal to c b into b inverse it means that here we are multiply both side by a b <coughs> b inverse which implies a b b inverse which is equal to c b b inverse again a e is equal to b e by right by inverse law we get a is equal to c this we call it as right cancellation law thus we know the five properties of a group first one is <coughs> the identity element of a group is unique second one is the inverse of an element in a group is unique third one is the inverse of an inverse of an element is element itself and if a and b are two elements of a group g then a b inverse is equal to b inverse into a inverse and last one left cancellation law and right cancellation law a b a is equal to a c which implies b is equal to c similarly if a b is equal to c b which implies a is equal to c okay thank you